as you all know, we uh, research within the framework of the European higher uh, education uh, system. Uh, this system has two main concepts, which is which are constructivism. The student builds his own knowledge, and uh, ICTs or IT tools. Uh, now I won't go into this because uh, I know there are experts here that know much more than I do. Uh, but uh, we've basically gone from uh, traditional learning through e-learning to active learning. And uh, because we are going to present a project that has to do with translation, uh, a typical translation classroom, and I've got a very, very knowledgeable student of mine, or former student of mine, Miriam Llorente, she's extremely bright. Uh, as she would say, uh, a traditional classroom uh, regarding tra translation studies is when uh, the teacher comes to class, he asks the student, to translate with a pen and a piece of paper. And then the teacher says, okay, let's uh, correct it. Each student reads a sentence, and then uh, the teacher says, oh, this is wrong, uh, this is right, and that's it. And of course, we are doing this, uh, we're still doing this, only with some differences, uh, but uh, there's room for improvement. And this is why uh, we have tried e-learning as well. So this is our typical Moodle-based uh, platform. Uh, as you know, uh, but uh, as you know as well, the Moodle-based platforms do not guarantee active learning on the part of the student. Uh, they guarantee that the material is going to be online, uh, but they don't guarantee the students are going to participate actively. Uh, and so, uh, for some years now, I've introduced uh, some uh, tools that boost uh, students' participation. These are some of them, uh, but uh, amongst this wide ample array of tools, uh, this wide uh, uh, gamut of tools, uh, the Wikipedia uh, is uh, one of them and possibly one of the best ones. And this is because the Wikipedia is, as we said today, an encyclopedia. So, it transfers knowledge, uh, but at the same time, uh, it uh, encourages users to build their own knowledge. And this is why it is particularly useful for our students. Uh, and uh, they ask students to do so uh, with a, in a collaborative manner and using ICT tools. So, uh, in a way, they are one of the best ways we can teach our students at university. Now, uh, this is why a group of us came together uh, and uh, we uh, put up this project. Now, the project started as a pilot project, uh, sort of a, a humble experience uh, initially in the year 2010. And then we started the project, the proper project, if you want. I got together with a, a computer analyst, Mar Bonnet. This is why I envy computer analysts, because they are essential for us. Uh, and this person who was not uh, an expert on Wikipedia, but she helped us and she helped me uh, create mo many of the things we've done for this project. And so she's responsible for a lot of what I'm going to be saying today. Uh, her name is Maria del Mar Bonnet, which means we have our own Maria del Mar Bonnet. Uh, and then uh, we uh, opened the project in the English Wikipedia, and that's why we contacted Jan Eisenfeld. Uh, he was the expert uh, for the English Wikipedia uh, to teach us how to start a project. And uh, okay, because we're dealing with the English language, uh, we needed to start uh, with the English uh, Wikipedia or in the English Wikipedia. Uh, then uh, uh, we uh, did uh, many of the things, but then we needed to migrate our uh, documents from the English Wikipedia to the Spanish Wikipedia, the, the, the way we had set the whole project up. And that's why uh, uh, we met Santiago Navarro, which uh, uh, he was helping us migrate uh, the uh, documents from English Wikipedia to Spanish Wikipedia. Now, that's the technical side, if you want, but we have a linguistic side here. Uh, and this is, these two uh, persons are very, very good translators. Uh, one of them is a university lecturer, it is Serrat. So now we have our own Maria del Marbonet and we have our own Serrat. And uh, um, so they uh, gave us external uh, revision. So they, they are professional translators and they produced professional evaluation of the final product. And we contacted uh, a university, the University of Granada uh, because uh, they allowed us to use or they showed us a tool that analyzes uh, the level, lexical level of texts. And this means uh, that we could assess whether a text is more or less difficult. And this is how we started uh, the project. Now, this is our project. We go from the 
English Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Now, uh, this, uh, what we do is we ask the students to translate entries from the English uh, encyclopedia, mostly related to the cinema. Right, and uh, then we ask them to translate them for the Spanish Wikipedia, La Enciclopedia Libre, uh, and the, the student, as you see, they are second year uh, translation study students. They are at the center of the learning process, uh, and uh, but they are aided by teachers, that is, by myself, and by translators. It is Serrat and, Mar, no, and um, uh, Maria Porciel, then technicians, Santiago and Maria del Mar um, Bonet, and linguists at the University of Granada. So uh, our main goal was to motivate students. We talked about motivation today, and that was our main goal. But we also wanted our students to produce semi-specialized translations in almost real conditions. We wanted them to apply translation techniques that they had learned in previous semesters. Uh, we wanted them to collaborate, to use IT tools, and to be responsible. Um, so, uh, now we're going to uh, tell you a bit about the uh, Humble Experience the project, the pilot project that we did in 2010, and Santi will talk about that. Thank you, Maria. Uh, no, this is for you. Okay, this is for me. <laughs> now, this is the pilot project in 2010, and Maria and Jose Manuel Martinez, Jose Manuel Martinez was uh, at this, that moment the uh, teacher of this, uh, of this year, year of the translation. translation. Um, now is in Germany, and he contacted us uh, in the cafe. Uh, uh, of Wiki, Spanish Wikipedia, uh, so he um, and this year was a pilot project because uh, it was the first time, uh, and, and this 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 year uh, we don't we didn't use the same methodology of uh, the three years uh, after. Well, uh, for example, the articles uh, were not about cinema. Uh, about cinema, uh, they choose and this an, an article. Um, don't worry about the topic, but uh, there were uh, they were good articles in English, uh, and um, Jose Manuel did an evaluation about the the article. Yes, the article is okay or not. Uh, Fifty-five uh, students uh, did uh, twelve articles. It's not uh, maybe twelve articles in Wikipedia is not a very great success uh, if we compare the amount of articles in every version, but from 55 uh, students, I think it was okay, and the articles, uh, we can see an article, yes, okay, F for example, this one, Richmond Bridge, and this is the result of the project, one of the 12 articles. Uh, I, ch I choose this um, random, and not, it's not the best article uh, of the 12 articles. So, I, uh, and then, uh, after the pilot project comes the uh, project itself. Uh -huh. So uh, for the project itself, uh, what we did is that the students got uh, two sessions of training uh, where they were taught about uh, the Wikipedia's mission, uh, the structure, and especially the editing or formatting guidelines. And the students created their own personal um, uh, accounts, and then we uh, prepared the central page for the project. So that's the central page for the project. We had uh, uh, the teams here, translating teams, we had uh, the students there, and then we had the source text, text original, and the translated text, uh, right? Uh, and uh, we didn't actually uh, create a sub page for each team, which was a mistake, uh, as uh, probably Sandy will speak later, but uh, this was our first uh, uh, sort of uh, project proper. Now, uh, students worked in teams, they chose uh, the text to be commissioned, as I said, uh, and we used, uh, so they gave us a, a, a paper, uh, an article like this one, a camera dolly. It's a specialized piece of filmmaking and television production equipment. It's about the camera dolly. Uh, and then what I did was I used this Ada Adelex analyzer. I put my text in the Ada Adelex analyzer and we got um, whether the text was very difficult or not. So regarding only Lexis 
right, or lexicon. Uh, so uh, then the students finally uh, produced a translation like this one. Now, but before they got to that stage, uh, they assigned roles, they themselves, within the team, they decided who was going to be the project manager, who was going to be the editor, who was going to be the translator, and so on. Uh, this is a student of ours. Uh, and uh, then they translated texts collaboratively. Now, what we did, and this was mainly my mistake, is that each of them translated a part in their own pages, you see. Uh, and then the others uh, commented on what they had done. Uh, but of course, they should have put everything in one page. Uh, but at that time, I, who was responsible for that decision, did not know this was going to work better. So uh, at any rate, this is uh, one example of one of the paragraphs they translated. Uh, and uh, then uh, they also, one th once the paper, once the article was finished, uh, they assessed other uh, articles, other translated articles. Uh, and uh, this is uh, an example of how they contributed. Uh, finally, uh, our uh, linguistic experts here, the translators, uh, they uh, revised and edited uh, what uh, the students had done. So these are uh, what they did. Iris Serrat, she produced comments for uh, team one, or group one actually, and Maria Porciel produced uh, comments for uh, group two. And as you see, there are six teams in team one and eight teams in uh, group two. Uh, this is an example of their uh, feedback, uh, but I won't go into this because the topic of the discussion is not linguistic. Uh, Santi will explain the technical feedback he gave and the problems he saw. Okay. Oh, sorry. Well, it's the other way okay, it's okay. Oh, this is an example of uh, my work uh, in 2012. Uh, these articles uh, were evaluated, uh, were, yes, were evaluated also, uh, okay, uh, from the point of view of a um, editor, a Wikipedia editor. I'm, uh, I'm editing Wikipedia for seven years, and I'm a size up in Spanish Wikipedia, and I could th do s uh, some things uh, that not everybody could. So, for example, merge articles. Uh, this year, many students didn't understand that uh, they should uh, write in the same place, in the same article, not copy-paste the, the information from one article to another, and the, his the history of the, art the articles uh, was disseminated in Wikipedia. I should also migrate, uh, migrate the content from wi English Wikipedia to Spanish Wikipedia, but uh, articles in Spanish read, write it, uh, uh, in written and in, in English Wikipedia. So, uh, oh, this is, um, for example, uh, yes, uh, I should I, I had to merge. So this is my, my the, the evaluation I did, uh, please. And so, with this experience, uh, we could uh, look look back, and well. Uh, we know that maybe for new people, for new editors, uh, it could be difficult to editing uh, to edit Wikipedia. And this year, for example, uh, I did with Maria. I did uh, two sessions of uh, about Wikipedia, an introduction about Wikimedia, uh, Wikipedia free knowledge license, uh, uh, how works uh, Wikipedia. Uh, after they created their account on Wikipedia, they created their user page on Wikipedia, uh, and the second session uh, was about edit Wikipedia. They created the page, they uh, introduced text, they um, put, uh, they created the, the structure of the article, they put an, uh, an image, a uh, template, categories, uh, external links, reference, uh, internal links, well, maybe everything, more or less in two hours uh, for the two groups for four hours uh, and um, yes uh, this is the some mistakes the first year um, only the, the page in English of the project now is in Spanish and English uh, now this is a, a problem for m not for Maria but for a cha we, uh, Wikimedia chapter uh, we don't know uh, how many students uh, are editing Wikipedia now after three years and uh, yes, this I, I I said it. Yeah, yeah. okay. So positive uh, positive points. Um, 
they work in the real wor uh, world, uh, use, uh, use ITC, uh, responsibility. Uh, for example, more than uh, 150 students editing uh, 37 articles, um, thousands and thousands of visits. Uh, uh, and for next year's, or this one, if, you, if we could, uh, the educational program extension of MediaWiki uh, is translated yeah, uh, in Portuguese and Spanish, so we could we could put uh, it, uh, the information that the students in this uh, extension of MediaWiki and and take the the information about the students uh, to have metrics uh, and evaluate the, the success of the program uh, and more languages. Uh, now it's only uh, English to Spanish, but why not the Spanish to English, uh, Catalan to English? Uh, and this is an example of the amount of uh, visits uh, of one article, Dolly, uh, as you said, and World Horse. In the last uh, 19 um, days, uh, more than 22,000 of visits. Uh, I, I think uh, the, the result is very positive for free knowledge. Uh, um, thank you. Uh, this, these are our emails. You can contact us. Uh, you have also the emails in in your information. Thank you.